Okay, this video is why do women have big butts? And actually there's a reason for it. A big butt is a sign of fertility, that she's healthy in the sense that you know it's a woman also. Men are attracted to an hourglass figure. So her waist gets narrow. Her hips come out wider. She's got wider hips so she can deliver a baby. The human head is big when the baby's born. The reason why her gluteal region and her thighs tend to be bigger is because of that's where like the omega-3 fats are stored. It's an energetically efficient location for him to carry those omega-3 fats. Omega-3 fats are important for the baby when it's first born for brain development. They help fluidize the plasma membranes to increase the speed of neuronal conduction. However, once they're in place, you don't need to worry about supplementing them as you get older, okay? But the reason I tell you that, this, by the way, is sort of an exaggerated uh, posterior compartment, which might be surgically enhanced for her job, you know, as a weather lady on the news. But this is what men find very attractive, okay? Men actually are less attractive to these fake boobs and over-voluptuous fake appearance that is often seen nowadays. They think, ah, oh, she's more likely to be HWRE, she's more likely to cheat on me. Men want a woman who they can count on, who's going to be reliable, who they can have a family with, who's not going to cheat on them, who just wants to make things work between him and her and their family. That's what they want, okay? So a lot of these modern women that are very sort of promiscuous and sleazy, they might have a one-night stand with them, but they're not good wife material. This looks like wife material, okay? She's the reason why it's important to man that she be kind of thin is because if she has a big belly, we're programmed biologically. Every time we see a woman, there's like a question in our brain goes off. Would you sleep with her? Yes or no? You can't help it. It always happens. And if she's fat, the answer is automatically no. And the reason is because for our ancestors and in the modern world, it's dangerous to approach a woman. First of all, she'll just reject you and embarrass you. But more importantly, her father, her husband, her boyfriend, her brother, they might beat you up, kick your ASS. Okay, so you would say to yourself, your subconscious mind says, why should we risk embarrassment, humiliation, or getting our butt kicked unless we're going to have a baby with her? We're just program. If it doesn't look like she's fertile, and the main sign of fertility is a narrow waist, um, any woman with a big belly in the past, that automatically meant she was pregnant or she was quite old. You know, postmenopausal and fat. You know, some women stay very pretty after they're postmenopausal. Not, you know, a lot of them get fat and lose that hourglass shape. But that's the main thing that attracts us automatically. We like female shoulders. A woman normally has small shoulders. She's only as strong as a boy until about sixth or seventh grade, because to our ancestors that meant it was time for the boy to go off with the men. He hit puberty. He becomes a lot stronger than his mother at that point. So she's got to be strong enough to control a boy before he hits puberty. And that's it. She does, she can't be having big bulky shoulders because if she did, she'd be increased risk. She'd starve to death. It'd be less calorie calories available for the baby. Again, our ancestors worried about starving to death. To a heterosexual man, this is a babe. This is this is perfect, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Women tend to have less body hair too. That's part of their appearance. Um, so anyways, there it is.